Welcome to Airdrop Ninja YouTube channel. Hope you all doing great. Today in this new video we are back another amazing content from the KuCoin exchange. But before we start this video here is a disclaimer for you. If you are new to KuCoin exchange, KuCoin is one of the top crypto exchanges. Launched in September 2017, KuCoin is a global crypto exchange with its operational headquarters in Seychelles. The platform's technical architecture was created in 2013, yet it took years to polish a seamless experience to make it KuCoin today. In November 2018, KuCoin announced a $20 million USD round of funding from IDG Capital and Matrix Partners. Known as the People's Exchange, it currently provides spot trading, margin trading, peer-to-peer -peer fiat trading, futures trading, staking, and lending services to over 10 million users in 207 countries and regions around the world. According to CoinMarketCap, KuCoin is a top 5 crypto exchange. In 2021, Forbes advisor named KuCoin as one of the best crypto exchanges. In 2022, The Ascent named KuCoin the best crypto exchange and app for enthusiasts. KuCoin listed several trending coins including GameFi, DeFi, NFT, and metaverse-related coins. GameFi is a section of the cryptocurrency world that is getting a lot of attention lately. A lot of promising GameFi tokens have been listed on KuCoin, and they have been performing amazingly well. In this video, we will look at some top trending GameFi too but before that, we will see what actually GameFi is. GameFi, short for Game Finance. GameFi is a new class of games that combines gaming and DeFi. In these games, Players can earn tokens as rewards for completing game-related tasks, such as winning battles, mining resources, or growing digital crops. This approach is also known as Play to Earn. Simply, we can define GameFi as the combination of video games, gaming, and decentralized finance DeFi. The technology used for this type of video game is blockchain technology, which allows players to be the sole and verified owners of the virtual elements of the game. In traditional video games, the predominant model is pay to win, in which players must pay in order to gain an advantage, such as upgrading, reducing waiting time, or buying a virtual object. As we mentioned before, a lot of promising GameFi tokens have been listed on KuCoin, and they have been performing amazingly well. We will look at some of the top GameFi tokens listed on KuCoin. First we have Engine Coin. Founded in 2009, Engine has been deeply involved with the gaming industry. The same year, the company launched a gaming community platform called the Engine Network. Engine is striving to give gamers a more friendly, incentivized, and open gaming ecosystem with the help of the metaverse. They started their journey by establishing a hassle-free and frictionless platform for making and selling NFTs to build a cross-chain metaverse where gamers have complete freedom and power. Engine's tools and services can also be used by companies of all sizes and industries seeking to create blockchain products or utilize tokenized digital assets as part of their acquisition, retention, engagement, and monetization strategies. Today, the Engine platform serves as an interoperable and interconnected ecosystem of products engineered to enable the creation, distribution, storage, trade, and even integration of tokenized digital assets. Mainly focused on gaming and enterprise use cases, Engine enables users to create ENJ-backed digital assets and use them in interesting ways. Users can create anything from NFTs to digital vouchers, to in-game items that can be used across multiple different video games. With Engine, you have blockchain games like Lost Relics, 
9 Live Arena, Age of Rust, The Six Dragons, Forest Knight, and a lot more. All in-game items on engine are NFTs that can be traded on the marketplace using the ENJ coin. ENJ is the coin that fuels the engine ecosystem. You need ENJ to trade for goods. You also need ENJ to mint assets. If you want to mint an item to the engine blockchain, it's going to need ENJ to burn. So for example, let's say you create an NFT on engine and it costs 5 ENJ. It's going to burn that 5 ENJ and embed that value into the NFT. So if you wanted to sell that NFT, at a minimum it would have a reserve value of 5 ENJ. That's because engine has a melting function where you can destroy the NFT and take the ENJ value from it. Pretty neat. Let's move to our next coin. So we have mana that is Decentraland. Decentraland is a decentralized land where you can build whatever you like on your own digital land. You can create your own digital world, buy slash sell items and land, and interact with people on the platform. This is not just a game where you can build things online, it's also a metaverse because you can interact with people in the digital world. Decentraland is one of the more popular blockchain games in the metaverse. You can find some big names like JP Morgan, Samsung Miller Lite, Super Bowl Commercial, Atari and if you happen to own land next to some popular celebrities or big businesses, the value of your land goes up. Decentraland has its own marketplace for trading land and in-game items all owned by the players. In traditional video games, Everything you own in that game is owned by the video game company. You pay extra money for some game skins or special items, but you can't sell them. That's why people are turning to crypto gaming to have ownership over their games. Mana is the cryptocurrency fueling the Decentraland economy, and you'll need that to buy things. If you want to get started with Decentraland, you can buy Mana on KuCoin. Unlike other virtual worlds and social networks, Decentraland is not controlled by a centralized organization. There is no single agent with the power to modify the rules of the so where, contents of land, the economics of the currency, or prevent others from accessing the world. Up next coin we have YGG, Yield Guild Games. What is YGG? Yield Guild Games is a gaming DAO. A DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization, which just means a group. Yield Guild Games, YGG for short, is a group that invests in play to earn gaming cryptocurrencies. The idea initially started with Axie Infinity, the most popular play to earn crypto game through necessity. A little history, Axie Infinity is a play to earn crypto game, but you need a significant investment in the game NFTs, Axies, to get started making it very difficult for new players to get started. Then comes the scholarship program. Players that had Axie NFTs that weren't being used, could safely loan those to other players for a percentage of their earnings. The Axie owner would be the manager and the person borrowing the Axie would be the scholar. A typical fair deal would be something like 70% of the earnings go to the scholar and 30% of earnings go to the manager. That's not always the case, but this scholarship program opened up the game to people who didn't have the funds to invest. The scholarship program created jobs for many people and that business model eventually evolved into YGG, Yield Guild Games. The YGG Gaming DAO invests in play to earn games, buys land and NFTs, and brings that value to DAO members. People that can't buy expensive gaming NFTs, can still participate by investing through YGG coin and staking it. What can you do with the coin? Within the YGG platform, you can choose where to stake your YGG tokens to earn a yield on them. It's called Yield Guild Games, and you choose the game where you want to earn your yield. Gaming DAOs are still relatively new and YGG is one of the big players in the space. And if you want to get started with YGG, it is available on KuCoin. KuCoin had listed many more coins like this, 
If you still don't have a KuCoin account yet go to the video description and sign up and check out these amazing latest coin listings.